Hi guys, I want to welcome you to Devs and Dice. And today, it is time for another collaboration. Alright guys, so some time back, Nate from Nate's Miniatures posted a collaboration idea. It was called eBay Miniature Flip, and the idea was that each and every one of us would bid on a miniature to as low cost as possible, and then paint it, and then resell it on eBay. And whoever got the largest profit would sort of win, even though I think most of it will go to charity or something like that. Now about the same time, a friend of mine, Justin, he got a, a figure from eBay, and he asked me if I would be willing to paint it up. He got this model for about 30 bucks. So me trying to be a little bit smart, uh, I figured why not kill two birds with one stone? Now before we have a look at how I painted the beast up, I want to give a shout out to my fellow collaborators. Links to their YouTube channels can be found down in the description. Please pay them a visit and yeah, show them some love. Alright, enough babbling. Let's have a look at how this journey went. Alright, so this is a display miniature from Toy Biz depicting Hank McCoy, also known as The Beast, a founding member of the X-Men. Now, you can see that apparently this is a beginner's kit for ages 5 and up. <laughs> I can tell you that I would never have gotten this together when I was 5 years old. There was a whole lot of gluing when it came to assembly, and the kit was quite rough. Then again, this kit is from like 97 or 98, so I will give them a pass on that. I tried my best to make the seam somewhat less visible. I used Millipot to fill the gaps. I started out with a nice even coat of black primer. After that, it was time to airbrush the heck out of good old Hank. I started with some white ink to establish the highlights and shadows. I knew I wanted to hit that in-between area between the comics and the feature films. Essentially I wanted to make a sort of comic expression with a smooth highlight and shadows. Here I'm coming in with some blue inks to filter the xenophil highlighting. Now I felt quite quickly that the color was way too dark and saturated. I was looking for something less saturated and more sort of realistic, so I added some acrylics to the process. I first did an inverse xenophil highlighting to establish the shadows. Then I came in with some more brighter grey-blue color for the highlights. And this, in my opinion, looks much better. So time to start using the brush a bit. I started laying in some flat black to define details such as his eyebrows and eyeballs. Looking at the box art, I could see that his um, underwear needed a coat of black as well. Once dry, I painted the eyes in an off-white color and I made sure not to cover the entire eye, but to keep a black border to enhance that pop. Then I started glazing in some black on his hair. This took several coats to get that faded look. Purposefully, I let some of the blue shine through since it gives us automatic highlights. I did the same thing on the patches of fur that was defined across Beast's body. His belt was bright yellow, so I started with some undercoating with white. This took a couple of thin coats to achieve coverage. Once dry, I came in with some warm yellow to finalize the, the belt. His X-Men belt buckle got the same treatment of white, but here I went with red instead. And then, of course, the black X. So the actual base. I started painting on some metallic but quickly realized that the finish was way too patchy so I resorted to using my airbrush. And that was a good move cause the finish became super smooth. And while I was at it, 
I also painted the tank in the same metallic paint. Starting on some details on the tank, I painted the treads in a black just like the box art showed. I diluted the black color a bit and I added some flowy to use this as a wash to grime up some details on the tank. I started painting in some yellow on the base, and honestly, this took about 5-6 coats to get a smooth, nice, even coverage. In between each coat of yellow, I started on the black details and after some time it finally started looking good. I looked again at the box art and I saw that there were several colors of red and orange in the base, so I started it with uh, painting the X in a very sort of red-orange. Then I started on the orange and black details that were all over the base. Again, these were done with several thinned out coats. You can see that I had a secondary clean brush there to remove any, well, oopsies, and I've I made it quite a few in the process. The muzzle flash was wet blended in with some yellow, orange, and red. And as a final touch, I added some rust wash to the biological entity that is taking over things in the danger room. Let's have a look at how Beast turned out. So what you what you calling for? What you want? Yeah. So Justin, um, I'm done with your uh, thing. I'm looking. Uh, I'm it's looking not the at thing. You. It's the beast. It's the beast. Exactly. I'm I'm done with beast. Actually, just not the beast, right? It's he's been referred to as both. Okay. I'm done with the beast. Um, <laughs> but considering since everything is what it is in the world today, you know, social distancing and so on. I figured I wanted to show you uh, this thing in my super high definition uh, Logitech web camera <laughs> that hopefully uh, will be able to, uh, you know, actually focus on it. Uh, that would be great. Okay. Well, yeah, dude, I'm I'm super I'm stoked to see it. Like you've had it you've had it for a little while now, and like uh, aside from a, an occasional update picture, you've been keeping me in suspense. So I can't wait to see this thing. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? You're sitting down. I'm ready. You're sitting down. Yeah. I'm ready. Do I'm sitting down. Do you have like like cloth in case you need to like wipe the tears? Or <laughs> I have I have kitchen roll right okay. here. We're ready Good. to go. Good. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous now. Shit. This is this is sort of my first commission. Okay, are you ready? I'm excited. So give here it to go. me. Oh man. What do you think? That's awesome. He looks great. I love the floor and the oh yeah, this is yeah. awesome. So that um, that sort of organic thing that in the story, yeah, there's a story by the way. You saw that on the packaging. 
I honestly like uh, when I realized the packaging was from 1997. I kind of just disregarded <laughs> it and prayed prayed that you would make it make it good. <laughs> there's a story, and there's some sort of organic uh, thing taking over the danger room. So that's mm -hmm. what what's happening here. So I sort of rusted it up and and made it. But I've tried to sort of keep him sort of true oh, to yeah. the, to the cartoon. Uh, a I mean, bit yeah, of course. That's that's the that's the X Men that we all kind of grew up with, grew, yeah. grew up with in that era, right? Like, it was either that or the like, you know, the Jim Lee era of X Men, which was the what the cartoon was based off of. Oh man, he looks great. He looks really good. And this this is what an airbrush can do. Very nice if you see those smooth with the contours and everything. Yeah, smooth, yeah. smooth muscles. And the funny thing is, yeah, you, you'll see in the video later on, but uh, I actually started this by doing the metallics in with a brush and it just got so gloppy and I was like, screw it, I'm going to try my <laughs> Vallejo uh, airbrush metals for the first time and it went on super smooth. I'll be honest, I understood nothing of what you just said there, okay. but you're the professional here, <laughs> so it's all good. <laughs> he looks amazing. Thank you so much. I can't wait to have him in my collection. No worries. So, um, <laughs> regards to that, Justin, mm -hmm. what would you be yeah. willing to uh, pay for this commission job? Well, that's a, that's a tough one. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? Fika? Okay, so I have some explanation to do. A Fika? is what we Swedes call a cup of coffee or tea with some sugary pastry to it. And honestly, it's among the most beautiful things about Sweden. Jokes aside, the reality is that Justin did order beasts from eBay. And once he had won the auction, he asked me if I would be willing to paint uh, this beast figure up. My reply was, of course, yes. And Justin being a nice guy, he of course said, well, okay, how much do, do you want for it? And to me, I actually said to him, you know what, just buy me a fika. To me, this was a beautiful moment. I know Justin, and he collects beast figures. And just the fact that he would trust me to paint up this figure, because there's a lot of good like painters around. Well, I might be weird, but to me, it was an honor. And to me, I felt it like it was a huge responsibility. So I took this quite seriously. And in regards to this challenge or collaboration, I asked the other participants if uh, this setup would be okay. They, of course, were inclusive and said, yes, of course. And again, Please uh, have a look at the collaborators' uh, YouTube channels. They're awesome people and they make awesome things. So, with some paint, I made a friend happier. And hopefully, one of you that is watching this will go and visit the other collaborators' channels, making them happy. In my book, that makes us all heroes. Until next time.